Good afternoon everyone. I will be discussing to you how to accomplish the instructional learning plan matrix. This will be the substitute of our lesson plan for this opening of classes, uh, school year 2020-2021. So the first thing that you will need to do is to replace the following circles um, into the logos of in your school or district. So on the right side, you replace this with your school logo. And on the left side, you, it's either you use your district logo, the deped seal, or the division logo. You do not need to insert the logo inside the shape, but you just need to delete this one. So press delete, and then go to insert picture, then select the logo. So after that one, so you will go to format, um, automatic, ribbon, and then drag down, uh, click in front of text, then resize it according to your desired uh, size. Then afterwards, you click on your keyboard control D to have the, um, make it easier to transfer the second logo, then right click change picture from a file, and then select, I will use our um, district logo here. Then afterwards, you need to edit the name of your school. So here, mine is Jose Bastida Elementary School. And then for the district, it depends on the format that you have on your district. So here, um, this is in table format. I just removed the uh, colored lines on the side so um, it will be easier for us to accomplish just encode so I have already encoded so here I have written my name the grade level that I'm in the section of my class and then the quarter number the week number the day number and the uh, MAPE component so, the instructional learning plan matrix is based on the ADM module that you are using. So, one instructional learning matrix corresponds to one module. So, I am using my ADM module in art. So, here is the template. There are seven columns. The first column is indicates the date. The second column is the most essential learning competency. Um, the information here is will be is reflected in the information page of the ADM module. The introductory page uh, column as reflected in the let's try this part of the ADM module. Um, the cognitive process indicates the activity that falls among the following cognitive processes: attention, perception, memory, language learning, and higher reasoning. Techniques, strategies, and illustration as reflected in the let's do this part of the module. Learning activities, list down the activities written in the module. And the assessment task as reflected in the let's test ourselves part of the module. So let's begin. So example, we have um, this will be for the August 24. And you need... To have by your side your ADM module. So as you can see, so this is my ADM module. On the second column, you need to get the information on the learning competencies. So here is my learning competencies. So please do inc include the code. So here, there, and then Introductory as reflected on the let's try this part. So here I have also included the okay, his panimula or the introduction and then ito yung introductory part. So bukin natin and then the pagsusuri. Um, this is the motivation part and then the motive question here. So you include here what I did is for example. Um, for the introduction, paunang pagtatalakay sa aralin na mababasa sa panimula. 
subukin natin, inilagay ko yung pamagat ng activity o yung gawain. Kilala, kilala mo ba siya? Kilalanin ang larawan ng dayuhang mga ngalakal. Pag susuri, uh, nilagay ko yung direction, general direction, basahin at sagutin ng mga tanong. Sa fourth column, itong cognitive process, indicate the activity that falls among the following processes, attention, perception, um, language, learning, and higher. For reference, here, please go to this link. Um, here. For better understanding. So, there, the, there are six types of cognitive processes. Um, tapos, each, ito yung um, discussion niya. Tapos, yung design implication kung paano siya i-apply doon. So, ang ginawa ko po dito sa template ko, base doon sa activity ko, I have, among the sev six, I have only chosen memory and learning. So, sa memory po, uh, ito nakabase siya doon sa first na pang, um, sa first po na activity, yung subuki natin. So, pagkilala sa dayuhang mga ngalakal. So, that is memory. Um, ano ba ang memory? So, memory, the process of The process of storing, finding, and assessing knowledge enables people to recall and recognize entities and to determine appropriate actions involves filtering new information to identify with what knowledge should be stored, context, duration, interaction. So, going back to my uh, here, kilala mo ba siya? So, kilalanin mo ang larawan ng dayuhan sa ibaba. Isulat ang iyong sagot sa kahon. So, yun siya, no? Um, and then, sa learning naman, learning is process of synthesizing new knowledge and know-how. Involves connecting new information and experiences with existing knowledge. Interactivity is an important element in the learning process. So, if you go to my module, this is the application or gawin natin part. Here, this is, there, there are a series of activities. So, um, there are three activities. So, una, paggawa ng three-dimensional na hugi. So, I have started with the uh, um, instruction. Then, they will apply the learning. And then, another instruction or information. Then, apply this one. And last, um, this is the combination. So, it depends on the activities you have written on your module. For reference, please go to this link. That is for the cognitive process. Next is the technique strategies illustration as reflected in the let's do this part of the module. So here, um, you need to identify what I did was I, I have identified what strategy I did. So I am using guided activity for let's do this part. So, paggawa ng likang sining gamit ang technique na cross-hatching at shading upang maipakitang ilusyon at espasyo. Uh, ulalim at maipakita ang, three da ang tatlong dimensyon. Ang technique naman ang paggamit ng cross-hatching at shading. Last, ang learning activities. So, you list down the ac activities written in the module. So, there are only four activities in the module. So, bukin natin, pagsusuri, gawin natin, and sariling pagsusulit. So, nilagay ko lang yung mga general instruction or direction how to accomplish each activity. Tapos, dito po sa assessment task, kasi uh, nilagay ko kung anong type of test. So, multiple choice, karamihan multiple choice, and then, um, 1 to 5, Naglagay, nilagay ko lang yung number 1 as sample item. So, dito, so, pag na-accomplish nyo na po yung template, so, sa baba, so, you write your name and your designation, uh, name of principal,
and then for the PSD is so that is how you accomplish your instructional learning plan matrix so thank you very much and have a good day